Hi there YouTube friends, this is Josie G and it is over a hundred degrees. It is like almost, it's inching toward, I'm looking at 105 if you can see that because it's between like 100 and almost 105 and 110 there. Wow! Ugh. Okay, I'm going to take you over because I have to be outside to film this because I really wanted to get a good view and I wanted to do it in a certain spot and it wasn't working. So hold on, I'm going to show you. Okay, so while I'm melting, <laughs> the dolls are not because they're in the shade. Um, these are, this is the new Welly Wisher Willa, as you can see. Sorry about that. I got real up close and personal. My chair got caught. Um, and next to her is Sirhan from um, Heart to Heart. She's a heart for heart, not to heart. Heart for Heart doll. I have to change her name. I don't really like Sir Han. Sorry, that's just me. And um, then next to her is, I think, you know, I've not been able to identify this doll 100%, but if you look, she can grasp her hands and pray. Isn't that cool? I like that. So she's, um, she's along the lines of like a special blessings doll, but she's not per se a special blessings doll. She... Um, but she's similar to them. Those dolls are really hard to get a hold of and they're very rare and they're very, very expensive as you can imagine. Um, but she's similar to one of them because her hands clasp, see, all the way. Isn't that cool? Like in prayer. So, or clapping or whatever, but it's mostly about prayer. And she's really, really petite and pr pretty. So she's been, um, Rahel, or my renamed Essie Walker, she's been her friend for a long time, and so has um, so has Sirhan. But anyway, now as you can tell, what does Sirhan have on? Have on? Yes, she has on. Look at the slippies. Are they cute? <laughs> she has on um, Emerson's PJs, which is the Enchanted Forest or Enchanted Garden, I believe. Uh, um, PJs and it looked like they came in like a recycled wrapper because they didn't waste a lot of ink on this on these but they were still twenty dollars okay just keep that in mind still expensive and she also has um, Willa's little <laughs> headband on which I think really looks cute except I placed it right in the middle of her head because she has a middle part so she looks really super cute in this um, now Willa actually has on Sir Han's dress and it looks very cute on her and it takes on a whole new flavor when you take it off of this doll who is um, from a certain part of like India or Nepal, somewhere over there. It, when it fits, when it's on her, it looks like it's her custom type of dress. But when you put it on Willa, it looks totally different. It looks like a very cute summery spring dress instead of the batik dress that it's supposed to look like. Isn't that isn't that odd? It's so interesting. Anyway, she's got also her shoes on now. The feet are larger. I had a hard time getting Sirhan's feet into these slippers, which is interesting because I have not tried them yet on Willa because Willa's feet, she actually looks like she's got, I'm sorry, she's got cankles because her feet are very large. But again, this is meant to be more of a play doll for younger children. So, um, of course, her she would represent a younger child because um, the ankles are... Well, they're a little bit more petite, and you can see, like, a bone protruding there, you know, and you don't see that with this doll, um, with the Welly Wishers doll, and you don't really see that with this particular doll either, which she might have been more of a play doll, too. She has a little bit of a, you know, kind of a concave um, thing going on here, sculpt, but not with Willa. She's just straight up kind of up and down. So, um, the one thing I do like about Willa's hands is that they're very articulated looking. Look at those hands. They are so nicely done, the sculpt on them, um, especially compared to uh, Sir Hands. Sir Hands are just, they're pretty, but they're just regular hands. They don't, they don't 
they're just all together and then the thumb and they look fine on her but then when I saw Willa's larger hand I thought oh she's got a big hand but then I noticed how they had really and it mimics the American girls if you notice the two the two middle fingers are together so that's very mimicking of the American girl doll um, but it's very it, it looks very um, like it natural natural looking you know so that's kind of cool um, alright so I want you of course she has little teeth and these girls have closed mouths as you can see so I think that makes her um, yeah, more along the lines of American Girl, of course, and also more appealing because she's got this open, fresh, refreshing look to her. Uh, she also has freckles. The other two do not have freckles. So let's go ahead and do some more. And her eyes actually look pretty similar, not quite but to Sir Hans, if you can see that. I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing, but um, she's got like a cluster, like a hazily eye, and Sir Hans are more, they're lighter on the outside of the iris than um, the clustery look, but they are very, hmm, very similar, you know, to a certain extent. And I did take Willa's hair down. It was very easy. Her hair does look a little bit dry, but I did take it down. It was pretty easy, except you could see where the part is, but I guess if you played with that a little bit more, it would be fine. She kind of has traveled out here and so forth, but it's not it's not real hard to do and to move that around. So I just, all I did was keep twisting it. That's all, all I did was keep twisting it to where I wanted it, and I pulled it apart in different sections, and it'd be real easy to put back up again. All you do is take your brush, pull your, pull your piece up, take your brush, and twist it into one big twist like that, if you wanted those little, those little, um, you know, or you could leave it like this. How cute would that be? Oh my gosh, that would be so cute if you just put it in a pony with all those little curls. That would be super adorable. So you can put it, you can have her wearing it down. Um, or you could have it up again with all the curls or back to the one big curl. But I think she looks very cute with it down too. Like she just got up and she just lost her shoe. See the, the shoes don't, um, and now she's unbalanced. The shoes don't fit her very well. The heart to heart shoes don't. So just keep that in mind. Okay, well I'm going to take their clothes off so you can kind of see what they look like. So hang in there. Okay? Alright. Okay, I'm really hoping that you're seeing them well. Um, because there's lots of light out here, but they could be in a shadow. I'm hoping that that's not the case. Okay, anyway, um, I left their undies on because you know what, it's just, it's just a, you know, courtesy. <laughs> um, it looks like this little gal doesn't have a belly button, but these two do, Willa and Heart for Heart does. Now, um, of course, she's a little bit darker skinned, but Willa is taller. Somebody said she was 14 and a half inches, so the Heart for Heart is probably 14 inches, and so is this gal, but she's more petite, as you can tell. She looks more like a china doll to me. She's not. She's all vinyl, and her her legs are solid, whereas uh, Willa's, you can actually, can you see that? You can actually move her legs, and same with the Heart for Heart doll. Wow, her legs really move. <laughs> Did you see that? Okay. So, she's a little... Will is a little tiny bit wider, just a, just a, a shade lighter, tad lighter than her. But her her um, arm span is is wider. Her shoulders are wider. Her face is is larger because she's taller, you know. And her legs are just straight up and down. They're not wide apart like the Heart for Heart doll. Okay, so just so you know that. So the willy, well, all the Welly Wishers will be like this. They'll just have straight legs, okay? All right. Also, she, if you notice, they have heart-shaped faces, kind of. Well, at least, at least Willa does. I bet the other ones do, too. Um, she does, too, a little bit. I like their eyebrows. Did you notice their eyebrows? They're, they're like the little drawn eyebrows. They're really pretty. So I just love the sprinkling of... If you look at them side by side, they probably represent 
children from both areas, actually. But whereas she looks more sophisticated with her darker lips and glossy, they're glossy and darker lips and her blush, Willa looks like she's much more childlike. That's what I feel. She does have a wig on. Someone had mentioned earlier that they would have rooted hair. Nope, that's not, that's not the case. It is actually a wig. Um, it's similar to Molly's or, yeah, because it's got the little short hairs back here. Okay, her back just looks like a regular little back, same as Sir Hans. So you can see them side by side. Um, got the little tush, so you can see the little tush. It looks like there's a line here, so if they didn't have underwear on, like molded Barbie, she doesn't have one of those. So, hmm, not sure what that's about. Okay, so that's pretty much her. Now somebody asked me, does she sit well? Well, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how she sits. She sits just like, and I'm going to move this little gal out of the way. She sits just like, she sits well. You know, just like, now she is sitting against something, so that's not really, but you know, the, the wider you move her legs, of course, and I suggested don't put her in a short skirt. <laughs> put her in a longer skirt or a maxi dress that's pretty wide or little shorts because that's pretty wide there, you know. So, but those are that's that's a play doll for you. They're gonna they're gonna sit like the big Walker dolls, like the American Girl dolls sit like that. They all sit like that because they're not jointed here. If they were jointed here, of course, you would be able to click them back and that sort of thing. But then they would be breaking there, too. So that's the disadvantage. The advantage is, yes, she sits fine. No problems there. The only problem I have with these Welly Wishers dolls is the price. Um, I think the Heart for Heart dolls were about $30 because I bought Rahel, uh, not Rahel, I'm sorry, I got, I won Rahel in a contest, <laughs> which is really cool, from K Collect and, Z and Zaza and Mr. Modelnet. But I, um, I bought um, Sir Han on clearance at Target for 17 something and I really wanted to get Rahel a friend. So my, my S, she's my Essie now. I keep calling her Rahel because everybody knows her as Rahel. Um, and that was pretty expensive so I knew that she was uh, probably about $29 not, uh, regularly. So these guys are at double that price and I think that's kind of high. That's that's my issue with the Welly Wishers is I think that they're high and I think they're clothes for three pieces, a shirt, a pair of pants and a pair of shoes, twenty dollars is kind of high too. Because and they don't have a big selection right now. They will probably have more, but they don't have right a lot right now. So that's my big concern is that they're they should have been about forty five dollars at the most, forty, forty five dollars at the most coming out and um, because there's no they're capped there's no way for them to go I don't think I don't think they can raise their prices if they did no one would buy them so I mean because I would have bought probably two or three if they were a little lower definitely but they they're sixty dollars so that's a lot you spend about forty dollars more and you can get a, an American Girl doll of course they're not all they're not all vinyl, so you can't put your American Girl doll in the bathtub and play, and you can with these guys. You just want to watch their hair and recurl hers especially, and maybe a couple of the other ones. I would be very cautious of Kendall's hair, and maybe of, um, of Emerson's. Uh, you want to just, it's real easy, you just twist it with your brush, twist each curl, Real easy. Uh, Kendall's you might have the most issues with because she's got very tiny little curls, so I'd be very cautious with her hair. All right, well, this is my review. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you think, and we'll kind of go from there. Tell me what else you want to see. All right, take care. Bye bye.